There we are, video. Welcome to another session of the do-it-yourself bi-directional coupler. This the uh, feature today is this PCB coupler from Lewis. It's been loaded up with components. Has the two diodes for for VF and VR. But uh, just to show you how it all works. Um, Here's the 200 milliwatt VTX, 5.8 gigahertz. I have removed the 6 dB attenuator, which was normally here protecting the VTX from high VSWR. Mac technology 10 dB coupler directly connected. Outputs open circuit. This is a Schottky diode detector. Uh, and we're reading 2.6 volts. By the way, it started off about 3.4, so I think the diode's uh, a little bit stressed. And um, we'll do the dirty trick. So this is a termination. The IB crazy dirty trick. Very valid test. And we're now getting VSWR1, and the reflected voltage is now zero. So that worked just fine. There is a test load. The VSWR 1.66. It is a 6 dB inline attenuator rated 6 gigahertz. And we should get 1.66. But uh, the, up, the voltage dropped from uh, 2.7 to 0.8. And it's actually showing 2 dB. It's 2 dB. VSWR2, uh, which it should be 1.66, 1.7, so it's actually reading the VSWR high, and I suspect there's too much RF volts into the uh, detector diode. Okay, so what we'll do is, high risk, we'll disconnect the Mac technology coupler. Unplug it. We'll put on the. Uh, we'll do it which way around here, yeah, that way around, okay. Alright, we'll plug in VF off the top diode, the top coupled line. Okay, so we do get voltage. We got uh, VF of 0.4 revolt. And it um, should be able to come up here to set, by the way, which it doesn't. And we'll plug in VR with the open circuit. Should be the same, 0.4. Okay, that's the Lewis diode, only giving almost zero volts out. And uh, we terminate it. Nothing really happens. Right, so for some reason, this uh, one other thing I was going to show you, by the way. Okay, use VF again. That's from the coupled line into the uh, HSMS286K diode. And you've increased the coupling with a bit of metal across the uh, coupling gap. So you can increase it. Right, so that's reducing or increasing the coupled power. It looks like uh, the coupling between the through line and the coupled line is, uh, the coupling loss is very high. I suspect nearly 30 dB. Right folks, that's, uh, that's the test. Just in case there's any more time left in the five minutes. I'm going to turn this coupler around because the HSMS diode is giving more DC volts output than the Lewis provided diode which I don't know what it is but uh, it's not as good as the uh, HSMS 286 and you still and that's a Lewis diode on VF which has dropped right off from 0.5 volts to near zero and this is VR Right, VR again is about the same as what it was when it was in, when you turned around. But we should be able to drop it to zero with its termination.